This is the helpful lock picker here, and the video I have for you today is trying to answer the age-old question, do master locks indeed suck? My answer is it depends, but what ended up having me start thinking about this was recently one of my family members needed to get one of those pod storage units to keep some belongings in while they are doing some remodeling at their house and they weren't sure what lock to get so apparently someone over at Home Depot who was very familiar with the pod storage unit said these are absolutely the lock you need to get not just master lock in general but these specific ones the master lock 141 so when I was over there today I was just perplexed on how that they ended up with these locks I mean they're very soft I mean I think that might just be a plastic outer covering but these are just very basic locks that anyone could even open without hardly any training. But I don't usually like to jump on the Master Lock Sucks bandwagon because I feel like Master Lock has some good qualities to it. And th these locks certainly were not designed to go on storage containers. So I don't feel like it would be fair for me to fault master lock on that but I was still just completely shocked to see that that was the lock they picked and it, okay there we go see this one was even putting up a little fight but one thing I want to show you interestingly enough on these is you know they're very cheaply made they're a four pen lock they can be shimmed but the other thing that people don't really think about um, besides, you know, anyone could cut through these or pull them off of the crowbar, is that they can be bypassed in a unique way. Now, if you ever check out my video number 53, it goes over how a comb pick works. And these locks are very susceptible to those. Essentially, you need a lock with a very open keyway. And what this comb pick does is it lifts the key pins and the driver pins up above the shear line and it just bypasses the whole plug here and it doesn't really you know matter what you have for a key or your ability to pick it because this is just going to just get the pens up out of the way and your lock is open so you know these are some interesting little locks but going back to the main topic of does master lock suck my opinion is is that you always need to know what you're trying to secure and what makes sense. I think Master Lock has some really great features. I'll show you this Master Lock um, M930, which I bought. Now this is a serious lock. This lock has a really strong shackle. It has ball bearings in it. And you know, anyone that wants to cut through this lock is going to have a heck of a time. And one thing I did do to this lock on top of that is, is I added a Master Lock 410 lockout tagout core. So I updated it to a six pin lock with all security pins. And I even added some American serrated key pins. So this is a really good Master Lock, which I have upgraded. But even if you pretend that I didn't upgrade it, this is a great lock. Yes, locks can be picked easily, especially master locks been known for that. But I always look at phys physical security over, you know, pickability. Because at the end of the day, statistically speaking, and in the real world, most people that are going to want to try to get into your stuff are going to try to get in through a destructive means. They're going to try to cut your lock. They're going to try to pry it open. They're going to try... You know, everything that takes no skill and is guaranteed to work. So this lock on a, you know, a test of physical strength is going to fail in seconds. This is garbage. You know, you can't be using that to secure something. But this lock is really great if the shackle fits. But going back to the storage container, I tried to find a happy medium based off of the locks I had on hand. So what I ended up doing was I added some American 1100 series as the replacement. The um, only troubling thing is, is that the storage container, it can't take much thicker of a shackle than on my 1100 series. So 
at the end of the day, you know, physical resistance is going to win out over the pickability. But I was just happy to put a lock in that would, you know, throw off the average um, person learning to pick because American locks can be quite tough. But at the end of the day, I always see so many videos out there and so many comments on the internet that master lock is garbage. I challenge someone to take one of their master locks, leave it outside for a year, and try to secure it, and then try to pick it. Maybe you'll have to pick it upside down in the rain, in the snow, in the heat, maybe even on a pile of water, you know, like a puddle. You know, in the real world, these are a lot harder to open. But, you know, when you are in the lab setting and you can be at home with your air conditioner on in a comfortable chair and load it right up into a vise, that makes it a lot easier to pick. So my answer to the age old question is do master locks suck? I would say a lot of lock companies technically suck for a lot of different reasons. This American lock's not going to put up any fight against a destructive entry, but it will keep someone out from trying to rake it or bump it. This lock is, you know, not really great for anything other than maybe a school locker. But this master lock here is excellent, you know, for something that you want to secure that can fit this shackle. This is going to give someone one heck of a time to get through. I always value physical security over pickability on things that, you know, are not stuff that would require a high security lock. Security is only strong as its weakest link, and always keep that in mind. Thank you so much for checking this out. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much, and have a great day.